What's up everyone, Lovely Sharma here on my channel Tech God and time is precious and it's our duty to not waste it on boot times and I saved mine by using System Mechanic. It's a PC optimizing software which optimizes boot times, your registry and your windows. So it's the same PC running Windows 10. On the left I have non-optimized, on the right I have optimized and you can see how well the optimized one performs. It's already booted up and the non-optimized one is logging in. It's low. Yeah, that's my point. And if you've got it, then you need to watch this review and increase your PC performance by using this software. What's up everyone? Lovely Sharma here on my channel Tech Code and System Mechanic from IOLO is a paid software. It costs around $40 but thanks to IOLO Technologies for making this giveaway possible to you guys. And what you need to do is to subscribe to this channel and comment in this comment section right below this video as to why you need this software. Your PC is slow, slow RAM, low RAM or you upgraded to Windows 10 that's why it's laggy are sufficient comments. The winners will be announced on Twitter and I'll be providing the link in the description down below for my Twitter account and it will be announced on 25th October. So subscribe now and win the System Mechanic PC software. You can use the key to install System Mechanic on up to 10 computers at your home. So once you install the System Mechanic and open it, this is the screen that you're gonna be treated with. So as quick as you can, click on the drop down button and click on perform deep analysis. So what this does is, is that it searches for everything on your PC that's stopping you from accessing all of your horsepower from your processor. And this does it quite well and it takes some time. So what I did is that I completed it and click on the repair all button. So it did everything on its own and my PC status was shown good. And I'm gonna skip it for you guys so that you don't get bored. So it'll take huge amounts of time if your PC is slow. And let's move to the next thing that's automated tasks and you can enable everything but I just left the defrag and a compact registry for a little while because it requires reboot and then move on to the next one. So this is the real time PC status and I don't think that any of you are not aware of this. It's available in your windows. But this one is quite graphical and shows more data than that. So next is configuration. You can optimize your RAM and everything. But the next thing is switching to the power mode that you require. And I suggest switch to gaming because gaming requires more um, GPU and CPU performance. So it doesn't limit your power requirements and in fact gives you more performance. And if you're done here, you can enable everything. If you're done here, move to manage power sense, but that is not useful because it just gives you how your power saving mode will behave. And then there's recent activity, you can see what you did in the past couple of days. And anti malware and firewall is not a new feature for you guys if you have antiviruses. And once you go in all in one tools, just start PC Total Care and it'll take care of your PC on its own. So this is not the first time I'm running this software, that's why it's showing only two things that need to be changed. But if you're running this for the first time, this might take some time as well. And you need to be patient and sit tight on your chair because this does require time. And once it's done, click exit and go back to the menu. And let's see if we can totally revitalize our registry. So it's quite interesting. So the names are quite interesting and the thing they do are also interesting. It compresses your registry and if you have any registry errors, in my case I found 224 for the first time and in this case it's zero because it's the second time I'm running it and this does perform good and 224 errors fixed in about two minutes. So that was quite impressive. And then go to individual tools. They are all powerful tools. We're done here and go to individual tools and these are powerful nobody wants a slow internet so optimize yours now click next and choose what your wireless source is so in my case i have a LAN. if you have a wireless or satellite or a modern 
then you can choose one so I'm gonna choose and go with LAN and click next I'm not sure what it does but I'm pretty pretty convinced that it stabilizes your internet and it creates another internet adapter in my internet settings so I am not really into the network but I'm pretty sure it does that and click the modify advanced internet settings if you and I suggest you change these settings only if you're aware of them and don't tinker with them without knowing what they do you can go ahead with this one that I did here because it's safe to do that do that and click apply so that's pretty much it for internet settings you can close them and look for something new and then there is this so this is what it looks like it defrags your disk makes it faster and I did it and I did not you know believe what I saw but this actually increases your copy and paste times well I'm not sure if I would be able to show this once the video gets released but this actually increased my copy paste times and this is startup optimizer you sh actually saw what it does in the starting of this video it increases your boot you know efficiency and makes it faster and you can choose particular programs that you want to keep when windows starts so for example there's system programs that you don't want to access when the windows boots up you can stop them and then there is uh, drivers so if you're a new windows users you don't have drivers if you are installing a graphics card you don't have drivers then this has you covered it searches for devices NIC and any other port on your motherboard and then downloads that driver and installs them but let's go ahead and see this so this is security optimizer and we don't need that and then there's PC cleaner so this works like C cleaner if you're running out of space then this doesn't make your PC faster but increases your space if you haven't cleaned it in a while and move ahead and you will see these options and they are actually um, very rarely used programs so I don't suggest you use them if you don't really know about them and then there's this you can actually do this one and privacy cleaner also and this security delete files also I prefer we delete this and that's it for that and in the next tab my favorite feature arrives so this is duplicate file finder and if you have a movie for example you download it once and your friend gave you again so this is taking twice as much space as it needs to and it will and this software does is that it you know searches for those duplicate files and helps you delete them to save up your hard drive space and what this program does is that it is a you know it's an advanced control panel for software uninstallation but if you updated your windows and it starts malfunctioning you can uninstall particular updates into this one and revert back to your original windows so it happens sometime and I think it's quite useful and let's move again ahead and yes NetSpeed analyzer so let's analyze what the setting earlier did to my PC let's analyze with one megabyte and click next so this works pretty well without ads at least and I'm not satisfied with the results so I'm gonna test it again you can go back so I think somebody else is using my net in my home then you can test it again and now I'm satisfied let me think of a 4.5 in a 5 MB plan is considered good so this is reports you don't really need them as long as your PC is healthy and mine is absolutely 